Ciao, buongiorno. Welcome to Rapallo. I've got my double bags on at the minute because I haven't been able to check into my hotel yet, but I've got about an hour left and I'm just walking around this beautiful town. It's a little bit bigger than Camogli, but uh, still pretty small and walkable. It's so beautiful out right now. The sun is shining. Everyone's enjoying the sunshine and I uh, oh, just sat and had a coffee. I feel caffeinated up, recharged, especially with this sunshine. I think I'm like solar powered, you know, <laughs> just the sun just gives me so much energy. Uh, so I will take you along with me in this video today. We're going to explore Rapallo and Santa Margherita Ligure. So keep watching and let's get out and explore more. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner. If you're just joining in on this adventure, I'm currently traveling around the Italian Riviera I started the trip in the beautiful port city of Genoa before heading over to the small beach town of Camoli, where I ate the best panna cotta of my life and hiked over to the picturesque San Fruttuoso. Now I'm staying in the town of Rapallo, just a seven minute train ride from Camoli, but it feels completely different. Rapallo and the neighboring town of Santa Margherita Ligure are located about 35 minutes from Genoa, on the Portofino Peninsula. This will also be my jumping off point for exploring Cinque Terre in a few days, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> in this video, we visit these two incredible towns and soak up a whole lot of Italian sunshine. Rapallo was likely first settled as early as the 8th century BC but the city appears in documents for the first time in 964 AD. Now, it's a popular place for affluent Italians to spend their winters thanks to the very mild temperatures during those colder months. Before doing too much exploring, I thought I should fuel up, and in this region, that means it's all about focaccia. Waiting in line for focaccia seems to be becoming something of a, of a trend for me. <laughs> but uh, Tosini was the sort of top rank place that I found uh, on the internet for focaccia. So I've got a few to sample, one with onion and one with um, olives and tomatoes. So yeah, I'm just sitting on the pier here. It's so beautiful. And uh, taking a load off with my big bags until I can check in in about, about half an hour. So I'll have some lunch sit here in the sunshine and then we can go to the hotel, check in, drop our bags, and hopefully explore more. Okay, I dropped my bags. So now I am walking through Rapallo. There's so many beautiful like mansion-esque places that have really ornate exteriors. Um, but I'm headed towards Santa Margherita Ligure. Uh, the towns are pretty close to each other. They're just like sort of on the other side of the bay. Should be a nice easy walk. Fingers crossed, I've just got my jeans on, but the, it's so beautiful here and the weather is perfect. This boardwalk that I'm on carries on all the way around the port of, uh, of Rapallo. It's uh, really easy to walk around, very pedestrian friendly, perfect for walking the sun, but this side has all the boats. These are some nice boats. <laughs> Compared to Cam Camogli, Camoli, the uh, town I was in yesterday, this feels a lot more like a place people really live. I'm sure in the summertime it's very different, but it doesn't feel quite as touristy as uh, some of the smaller towns along the coastline. And it's so beautiful. I guess I've never really seen pictures of what the Italian Riviera looks like besides the fishing villages that have the colorful buildings, but it's kind of what I thought the French Riviera, you know, the south of France looked like. And I guess because they're so close, there must be some similarities, but some of these houses are beautiful. I mean, even this one, look at this. You can't see the view because it's kind of obscured by this fence, but the Mediterranean Sea is just there. And lots of traffic between the two towns. Busy road.
In between Rapallo and Santa Margherita Ligure is a tiny little beach called Bagni Pagana. This was perhaps the most beautiful place that I saw on this entire trip. This little spot had a few restaurants, a rocky beach with little spots where people could lay or hop in the water. But the color of the water here, with that rocky seawall and the lush green hills along the coastline, <laughs> made it one of my favorite places in this entire region of Italy. This is Bagni Pagana, which is not quite in Santa Margherita. It's kind of in between the two, almost halfway, really. It's got a few cafes which we'll walk past. But wow, the color of this water is insane. There's even people like laying out on the beach. And like the first week of April, gotta love it. I got my coat on. <laughs> I did bring my bathing suits in my backpack, just in case I got the urge on this stroll to uh, lay down and catch some rays. It's a beautiful place. Also local buses that go between the towns all the way from Rapallo to uh, Portofino with stuff at uh, basically all these towns along the way so you could take the bus I'll link below to the timetable and the website where you can learn more about where the bus stops are and stuff uh, but it's really not that far of a walk and it's all paved it's very easy it's not too, it's not too hilly well I'm walking up a hill now but <laughs> some people are doing it by bicycle so if you really like cycling that's a it's another way to get around this little peninsula taking a little detour off of the main road to go to Stella Beach. Gotta check out every beach. How will we know which the best is if we don't look? And there's a cute little church here. Okay, this probably won't make the list of the top three, but uh, at least you'd have it to yourself. Share with this man. Yeah, lots of people. So busy. Everybody was so nice down there. Right, onwards. Next stop, Santa Margarita Ligure. Getting a little tan on this, uh, this winter weather. Welcome to Santa Margarita Ligure. It's very beautiful. We have walked down this hill here and uh, the cars are a little bit more expensive, the buildings are a little bit uh, fresher painted, is that a word? And uh, the beach is right here in the center of the town, so now I know why I didn't spend the night here. <laughs> this is fancy. This is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, wow, is that? I wandered along the streets of Santa Margarita Ligure and found a nice little beach to sit at and relax. I have a confession to make to you guys. If you've been following along since Cabo, you probably know how much I love the beach. But I hate sand. I hate sand. So beaches like this, I know people are like, oh, they're not just very beautiful, like where's the, the white sand, but I would much rather spend the day at the beach on these pebbles than a day on the beach sand everywhere plus this view you guys look how beautiful this is this is so blue it's so incredible i bet in the summertime it is busy look at all these bathhouses up there this is insane
I was on the hunt for a bathroom, as I normally am on every trip. I like to stay hydrated. And uh, I passed this gelateria. And gelaterie. I'm just speaking Spanish everywhere. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But uh, pistachio and hazelnut. So creamy. Eventually, it was time to head back towards Rapallo to relax for a bit and find a really good place to have drinks and dinner. Oh, I definitely caught the sun today. Oh my. <laughs> I just got back to my room. Let me give you a quick tour before I mess it all up and uh, you can see what it looks like. So you've got this big old bed, towels, a little view out onto the street, really cute furniture antique style it's called nonna lucia guest house it's right in the center of town like i walk out the door and around the corner and i'm right at the uh, the waterfront so it's really close to the beach in the summertime but also like along the walking along the promenade and stuff all the restaurants uh the woman who checked me in sylvia was super nice so yeah i paid not even 40 dollars a night for this room uh it's midweek in april so the rates are definitely lower than if you're trying to come in the summertime, but uh, yeah, definitely a really affordable option if you're traveling in the spring. Yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit, get some work done, and then head out for dinner at a place that Sylvia recommended, so. First, I had to stop into a nearby bar that had a big sign outside that said craft beer and sampled some local IPAs before going to dinner at Trattoria Obansin which is a local restaurant that specializes in Ligurian cuisine, the food from this region of Italy. The meal was incredible, and I slept like a baby. I made one more trip back to Santa Margherita Ligure because I just loved it so much. And I had to have that gelato again. Santa Margherita Ligure feels a little bit more like a vacation spot than Rapallo, I think. Uh, there's a little bit more to see, a few more places to, like historical sites to check out. Um, but I think it's a little bit more expensive. They're more like tourist shops and the restaurants are a little bit more expensive and, and cater for more for people that are on vacation. Whereas they do that in Rapallo too, like all along the, the waterfront. But in the old town, like in the streets that are tucked between the marina and the train station, there are some really great restaurants, some really cool bars. So I think even if I was going to plan this trip again, I would still stay in Rapallo because I like having that sort of stuff at night. And I think it's just a little bit quieter, but uh, definitely day trips to Santa Margarita Ligure. It's so beautiful here. <laughs> Uh, either one that you pick would be uh, a great spot but, and then you can go back and forth between the two really easily. Well that's it for Rapallo. I'm about to head on the bus to Portofino so be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. If you enjoyed exploring this part of the peninsula with me please give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!